Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. You know, I'm sitting here waiting for YouTube to process the last video I recorded. Uh, those of you who have who are content creators, you know the pain sometimes. It's been a really long time. So I've had some time to start thinking, and, and to be honest, it's a subject that I've been seeing a lot more often in the headlines, uh, and I, I worry about here at home. No matter where you live across the country, you've seen these headlines as well. Today's world has changed, with the movements to defund the police, or in some places even remove the entire police department altogether. We've seen that crime has increased, and it will continue to increase as long as this is happening. I myself have even received threats against the safety of myself or my family. And these times, right now, uh, make it even more imperative that you take the responsibility of defending yourself or your loved ones uh, paramount. You know the old saying of when seconds count, police are only minutes away, is very very true and in some parts of the country now, police can't even get in to respond to calls for service. I'm sure you've also seen the, the same headlines I have where you know large protests end up turning violent and people are assaulted, they're attacked, and in some cases they're even murdered. And as certain areas of the country move to have less rule of law, the likelihood and the risk that you might have to defend yourself go up exponentially. I also think of the new gun owners that have joined our community since uh, the beginning of this year. There are millions and millions of new gun owners out there. And many of them might not have advanced training or be aware of what they can or cannot do when it comes to defending themselves, let alone what happens after you have to defend yourself. As we all know or should know, that if you have to draw your firearm to stop an assault, let alone pull that trigger, the police will be called and an investigation will ensue. Now you will end up in court and chances are very high that you may even end up in jail, especially if you live in a liberal state where they're not willing to, you know, just give you the benefit of the doubt of defending yourself. You will be arrested and you will go to jail. Then you'll need things like bond or bail, a lawyer, and then you'll have to worry about defending your good name and clearing yourself of the charges you face because you were forced to defend yourself. Now you'll have the criminal suit you'll have to worry about, and God forbid you were forced into a scenario where you had to utilize deadly force, there will be a civil suit as well. Now chances are you, most people don't have the money needed to clear your name, let alone get back everything you will lose during that time. You hear stories of big lawsuits where people lost their home, their property, their family, everything. And I'm no different. A year ago, I decided to join the United States Concealed Carry Association, the USCCA. Now, if you've been a member of the channel for a while, you, you remember that I mentioned that I joined them, but I, I did want to give it a solid year of looking into the USCCA and what they do and read stories of how they have helped numerous uh, people in self-defense scenarios and lawsuits, etc. to decide, A, was it really worth the cost? And that cost is not a lot especially when you consider how much lawsuits will cost to defend yourself or how much your house is valued because uh, they attach those things. Uh, and, and B, did I find enough value in the program to want to re-up and to tell people that I love that this is something they should join as well? And the answer is yes. I have been a member now over a year. I re-upped a couple weeks ago, and I'll tell you that just the peace of mind, knowing that if I have to em employ a weapon to defend myself, regardless of what my job is, on duty, off duty, home or wherever I am, these investigations will take place if I have to employ force. Whether I pull the trigger or not, that's going to be an investigation and could lead to charges. Now, I don't know about your family scenario, I have four children with autism, I have no money. I can't afford to lose the little bit that my wife and I have, uh, which is one of the huge reasons that I am still with the USCCA. 
you can look up and, and online, you can easily search how many people have had scenarios where they have had to use force and their first call was to the USCCA and how it turned out. And there are a lot and a lot of stories out there, which are also another reason why I have joined and have renewed. There's a lot of online training they have. Uh, there's uh, also a printed magazine that has a lot of solid articles, a lot of good training in there as well. But for me, the most important factor is the 24 hour access to a, an immense network of legal defense. Now the USCCA, there are three tiers of membership and they start as low as $22 a month. And for this, there are, will be people right now be like, ah, it's too much money. If you just take your McDonald's and pizza receipts that you spend, or most families spend every month, it will far exceed $22. Uh, and just like in here, I don't know, what you, like a, a large pizza here is 15 bucks. So a pizza and some fries, I'd trade that in a heartbeat. I mean, Lord knows I could afford to do that anyway. But I would trade that in a heartbeat in order to ensure the safety of my family, both in the immediate by me having to defend them or them defending themselves, and also having that backup, that that feeling that I am gonna be okay with a legal defense too, and it's not going to put me in the poorhouse, even more than life already has. Now, I personally chose the elite package. The elite level of membership has the most coverage, uh, which was the biggest thing for me. I wanna have the, the most opportunity to have the best defense and uh, protect me and mine uh, as po possible and that is the elite package now you don't have to do what I did there are three levels if you choose to join which I really honestly personally recommend you do uh, look into it I'll have a link down below uh, it's the USCCA's membership area yes uh, they have chosen to support this channel and, and work with us and that link yes I'm gonna be honest with you will bring a little bit of money back towards the channel to help but guys and gals uh, if you are not in a position or if you're not independently wealthy and can spend a couple million dollars to defend yourself, even though you are 100% right, you're going to get sued. It's going to happen anyway. And if you don't have that kind of money set aside, you should join the USCCA. Now, they also have family options where I've added my wife so that she is also has she's also covered in my in the membership it's a family membership now uh, and her membership was a fraction of what the individual membership for regardless of the tier but it's much cheaper to add that family member in uh, which adds that sense of security when, it, when you need it the most you know often I used to worry about what happens when I'm not home if my wife she's licensed but what happens if she has to uh, something goes bump in the night and she is forced into a scenario where she has to utilize deadly force to protect herself or our children you know what would happen then and with the USCCA I have that ease of mind where I know that uh, chances are we're gonna be okay now the good thing about the USCCA that even I don't I didn't realize until recently and which is actually huge if what I've been saying so far it hasn't made you say you know what I really should uh, take my own safety into my own accord. Uh, they cover issues like civil suits. They also cover extreme risk protection order or red flag scenarios. So if your firearms are confiscated without due process, they cover that as well. They also cover unfounded uh, restraining orders. In some, most states, they take your firearms. Well, if it's unfounded, they will fight for you as well. If you have a CCW permit in your state and you believe it was suspended or revoked improperly, membership in the USCCA lets you utilize their legal uh, system for that as well. And they have a lot of attorneys, but you don't have to choose their attorney. You can choose your own as well and they will cover it. The key thing is now the, the peace of mind that I have, the confidence I have that God forbid I am forced, notice I say forced because I'm not going out there looking to do damage. But if some person hell-bent on ill will against me happens to encounter me and I am forced into a scenario that I have to do what I have to do, now I know that I have that backup and that is a huge reassurance that I have now. It is a huge confidence I have achieved and I just wanted you all to know that with everything we are facing now in today's world, I mean, look at the newspapers, look at, at the headlines online. The chances are increasing that you will have to defend yourself at some point. 
So why not make sure that you're not going to lose everything because of it? Like I said, I waited a solid year before I decided to tell everybody more about it. Uh, and I have found it worthy of me re-upping. And I do not plan on not re-upping ever again. And I want you to know that this is a huge asset for you as a gun owner. Again, I'll have a link down below. It'll bring you to the membership side. Uh, and uh, just seriously, think about what you could stand to lose uh, if you had to defend yourself. All right, I hope this information at least got you to start thinking about what happens when. You know, you, you have to defend yourself. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. And make sure you have that backup in case you ever have to employ that weapon. Take care, everybody.